Hello everyone and welcome to my final Stranger Things Season 4 review. Episode 9 has been here and it's gone. 2 hours and 22 minutes of pure brilliance. The storyline that, you know, has been going on for four seasons now. The wait was worth it. You know, this episode... It was emotional, you know. I think I broke down a couple of times um, for certain different reasons. But, you know, if you're a fan of Stranger Things, you will love how this ends and how it teases season five. And, of course, I'm going to dive into everything from what happened to my favourite scenes to everything this episode offered and the, the, the lead from episode eight. So subscribe, like, comment down below your thoughts on the past two episodes and volume one and two as a whole i'll be making a complete video soon but stay tuned for more content coming to the channel spoilers ahead of course again and of course enjoy so this episode was really a hard hitter because we lost eddie max should have stayed dead in my opinion we were sort of cheated out two seasons in a row you know with hopper <laughs> and then max you know, she got her whole body snapped. She was blind and then she was still alive. And then Elle was like, you know what? I'm going to put her through pain. I'm going to bring her back alive. Have her, all her body parts snap back into a blade. Somehow, they don't have a vision will be fixed and then put her in a coma. I think it would have been a bit more humane for Elle to leave her dead and the writers to respect that. To lose only one core character in the entire four seasons, in my opinion, that's been pivotal to the core and good cast, is kind of the one of the worst parts about Stranger Things. They're not good at killing people. There was multiple points where the likes of Steve and Nancy and uh, Robin should have been strangled to get death. Lucas should have been killed. He was punched and beaten and smashed around the head. He should have been knocked out. But then it took three punches for Lucas to knock um uh, blah, 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 knock Jason out. His death was, you know, delightful to watch him get split in half. The takeover of uh, Hawkins when Max died and the four gates came to fruition, causing a catastrophic event to destroy a lot of Hawkins, causing multiple deaths. Everything about this was a bill was a brilliant build-up to the throwback, to the, the snowball dance of where Max found hope and it ultimately led to her demise of where obviously Eleven found her, attempted to help her and then it was Mike who had to attempt to get the heart and soul back into her, breathe life back into Elle. Elle was unfortunately too late, but he, she ultimately captivated and attacked Reckner, leading to Steve and Nancy burning down his body in the house. to um, um, Hopper trapping the demagogues, the demagogues to murder, burning them all, and then the montage of him using the sword, and of Eddie sacrificing himself to save Dustin and getting ripped apart by the bats. Dustin, I think, breaking his, or spraining his leg or doing some damage to his leg. And Will coming back to Hawkins and realising he can still feel Vecna, all the reunions, all the chemistry, all the connections, all the callbacks to the original series, tying things up, the, the conversations between Elle and Vecna, the, the, the conversations between Hopper and Joy, Steve and the rest of the group, Vicky's interaction with Robert at the end, the ending where Hawkins was on fire, the ash falling from the sky, all the heroes together, realising the next thing they have to do is kill Vecna. Vecna's going to come into the real world. She's going to attempt, he's going to attempt to kill all of them, as Will explains to Mike. Every single scene was on point and brilliant. Still a bit of tension between Jonathan and Nat, but obviously that will come into full conclusion next season, as I think Steve will ultimately be with Nat. Death toll, in my opinion, you know, he didn't they didn't lie about that Duffer Brothers. No one, I mean Eddie, Eddie, you know, we know one watched Eddie die. But someone huge should have died. Steve should have been the one to die, or Robin, or someone impactful to the cast. Cheating out Max's death annoyed me very much. But overall, this episode was phenomenal. When I talk about the 
a, a good episode, this is it. From dialogue to visuals to connection to length to hold an episode up for two hours plus. I mean, Erica got speared and almost got her arm broken to the, 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 the heroes fighting back against evil. Jason is one of the worst parts about Stranger Things and should never been incorporated. And the whole cult thing ruins it for me. But this season captivates what it is brilliant. The cast, the writing, the directing, and leading in season five is going to be bigger, better, and more brilliant. They know how to elevate. They know how to push. I love how they explained how Vecna built the Mind Flayer and the Demogorgons who were attracted to him and how he was an adventurer and how he formed and became Vecna. He said that Dr. Brennan was not the villain. He was just an ordinary man with ideas, but it was L who created Vecna and who caused the world to be what it is. It was L who opened the first doorway to allow Vecna to ensnare the world to then kill the people he needed to, to open the doorways to Hawkins. It was an intriguing, incredible, phenomenal, well-written episode with so many incredible and iconic scenes that stand out to me. And, you know, Enzo and Yuri getting the helicopter ready for them to reunite with the woman who was on the phone, who worked with Dr. Owens to get them back to the cabin. For Mike to hug Hopper, to have that relationship, the understanding finally. Elle having the three-meter door rule and the reunion between them two, the kids reuniting, the parents reuniting. Everything about this finale is brilliant. There's so many things you can talk about. So many scenes you can talk about. But ultimately, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal episode. I'm going to be making so many more videos talking about my favorite bits, favorite characters, favorite everything, because I love this show. I've even said to myself, maybe I should make a daily, a day in the week where I have like a podcast style thing where I talk about the moments, the episodes, rip apart those episodes and truly dissect what it is to be a Stranger Things fan. If you have never checked out Stranger Things, this is my message to you watch it, enjoy it, embrace it, have a bloody good time, 80s, the music, every breath you take featured, the running up the hill montage, it was pure perfection and brilliant, I loved everything about it, it was an amazing episode, one of the greatest TV shows of all time, with some amazing moments that's going to set up for a brilliant final season, stay tuned for more content, stay tuned for my overall season review where I'm going to talk about more that happened in this and everything that happened in the, the last episode and the rest of the volume and where I see season five going, theories and whatnot. And I actually got my theory right about the massive gateways opening in Hawkins, connecting and unleashing a horde of madness upon Hawkins. I had a brilliant time. It's going to get a perfect 10 out of 10. This episode alone, I'll give you my ranking for season four, volume two, when I can. Highlights. Off of either Demo Gorgon with a sword. Um, and just the whole montage scene with him setting Vecna on fire, fighting Vecna, booting him out of the window, Eddie's death, Max's resilience, Lucas's acting from Caleb. It was brilliant. It was perfection. Go check it out. Subscribe, like, and expect many more videos from Stranger Things because I am so hyped to talk about this starting Monday but especially Saturday or Sunday I'm definitely going to be dropping a full season review I can't wait to talk about it more I hope I mean the other side I say it's a 12 and 22 minute video uh, episode I could talk about so many different things I just wanted to showcase some of the best scenes and what this episode means to the fans and the, the, the Demogorgon when it ran out you see the scale and the size difference between that and the Demodogs bloody incredible Subscribe, like, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.